Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my YouTube channel once again. Today we're going to do the review of the Rival 650 from Steel Series. So let's get started. Now, before I started continuing doing a review of this um, product, I want to let you guys know I'm using a different camera. Now, this camera is an action camera. This is the SJ Cam SJ6 Legend. This is an action camera, and the main reason why I want to go with this camera is because when the when it's a lot warmer weather, I want to ride my bike and also do my riding session, maybe do a little bit of vlog. So let me know what you guys think. So this right here, <clears throat> again, da -da -da -da, the Rival 650 wireless gaming mouse and wired. So what's the main difference? I would say it's the same thing same body shape design and look the only difference is weight and that's not I, I am not a fan of is the weight um first things first for somebody who's going from a light mouse to heavy mouse mm, it's going to be different it's not going to be overnight it's going to be something that you have to take time with so first things first the sensor is the same um the rival 600 and the rival 650 uses the same sensor Use the True Move 3 Plus dual sensor of the course right here with my thumb. That's the sensor that tricks that tracks the lift off distance. Now you have to use software to adjust the lift off distance. You can go anywhere between um, two millimeters to about 0 0.5 millimeters. And the main sensor, of course, the DPI ranges, aka <clears throat> let me get this right, CPI from 100 to 12k of increments of 100. Now, of course, the weight system is the same as well. The only difference is the weight. If you remember the rival um, 600, it used to be labeled the 4G grams. It used to be labeled black. This one just looks like it's been laser cut. Okay. So, let's continue. Also comes with a USB receiver, a.k.a. thumb drive. <laughs> and also comes with this connector that you can power up the receiver or use this to charge your mouse now of course the good thing about this is not a braid cable it's a rubberized cable that's good I like it so let's get right to this first things first before I continue about the weight let's do a quick sound test with the buttons on the mouse first things first is the the sounds of the side buttons forward button back button left click right click middle click with the scroll wheel moving the scroll wheel up or down pretty much that's it so removing this use the same um, features they is magnetized the sides are magnetized so it's easier to remove and easy to put it back in and you got to again four compartments to insert your four gram weights you can put up to four so basically you could put four on the left and four on the right one makes a total of eight now keep in mind the weight is my concern which is the weight on this mouse is about 121 grams now when you put all the weights into this bad boy it's going to be about 153 grams or 152 grams now of course one of the good features about this a mouse is the charging feature if your usb has a fast charge Pretty much you can charge this up for 15 hours and you get 10 hours of gameplay. But of course once it's fully charged, you're only going to have 24 hours of gaming. So pretty much 15 minutes, you get 10 hours of gameplay. And about <laughs> 20, basically full charge, you get about 24 hours of gameplay. So pretty much it's up to you. Now you can save up that by, by disable the lighting. Uh, I don't know if the polling rate can play that as well to extend the battery life of this product. Um, pretty much I tested it at a thousand and I found from it. I really didn't see a difference regardless of what, especially I've been gaming a little bit heavy because I'm on my break. So let's continue. So let me put this back. So it's really comfortable. Again, the quality is good. Well, again, my concern is with the quality with Steel Series. I know people have been having issues with the Rival 310, the Sensei 310, and also the 600. That people are having issues that the rubber side grips comes off. I cannot speak this for myself because honestly, I did not have that mouse for long enough to a point that I experienced that type of problem. I think for me, this mouse is really, really good. For $120, it's not bad. 
it is expensive. I'm not gonna. I should do not. It is expensive still, but nothing compared to the port wires. That one is like, ugh, it's a lot of money. Honestly, I do like this mouse, but you know, it's a little bit heavy. That's the thing that I don't like about it. And one thing I really do don't like about it. Again, I know this is kind of a little bit of a stupid pickiness type of thing, but I kind of wish at least the deep brown wins can be from 100 to 50. But honestly, I've been going, you know, I've been using this mouse for about almost more than two weeks. But honestly, I'll be using the, my baby still, the um, Logitech G403 wireless. Because I use 450 on this mouse with 500 hertz. And I'm really loving it. And it's a lot less light than this. But overall, guys, I'm not saying this mouse is a piece of crap. I think what this here has done is an awesome job designing a wireless mouse, especially the fast charge feature, which I think that is awesome. I have to give Studio Series credit. Um, this mouse is really good. It's great. No issues with um, losing tracking. Even I set it to the lowest, which is 0.5 uh, millimeters. Really, I don't lose any tracking. Depends what type of mouse surface you have as well. So keep that in mind. Um, one other thing I do want to mention, the cable is about 6.5 feet. So that's long, long enough. You can charge it and everything. But if you're a person, I will be honest with you, if you are planning to get with this mouse, even it's wireless or even you go with a wireless mouse or a wire mouse, I will say get a mouse bungee. Because I tried to play it without my mouse bungee. If you guys, I'll bring a little bit out here. As you see, I'm using the Zali um, Cameo. So I've been using that when I'm charged a mouse. And pretty much it makes it my life a lot more easier by going with a mouse bungee. Sometimes I feel like I have that drag if I don't have that mouse bungee. But honestly, guys, I'm going to let it go from here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, honestly, what I really cannot wait if Logitech can come out with the um, hero version of the 403. Because that's the one I really cannot wait. I've been using this mouse as well more often than this. So I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to talk to you guys later. Remember, kids don't do drugs. Any questions, you know what to do. Answer those questions down in the comment section. Have a wonderful weekend. You know, it kind of sucks that tomorrow's Monday. But again, be safe. Goodbye.